Hi, welcome to Luna Lodge Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a spirit-led reading about for friendships. So, you and your friend, it could be about a current friendship, a past friendship, a future friendship. But this is, um, you know, take what resonates with the rest. These are very general, so not everything will apply, obviously. Um, also, this could be about a friendship that might be estranged right now. Okay? So... Please keep in mind that everything is subject to free will, your free will, their free will, and the will of the divine. No one is free from law of cause and effect. Okay, so take a resonance and leave the rest. This will be for November through December 2021. Okay, so. Alright, let me get some cards here. Spirit, can you please show me? So we'll do person A, we'll do friend A, friend B, and we'll do maybe what came between the two of you, okay? All right. So you could be on this side or you could be on this side. Take it as it resonates. Let's see. Okay. One more shuffle. All right. So I'm going to get some intuitive cards. So we have person A. We have person B. And then we have what's between the two of y'all. Okay. Male or female, doesn't matter, gender identity, doesn't matter, gender purposes, doesn't matter, okay? This is between two friends or two best friends or friends that are like family. So it's a very close bond here, okay? So with person A, this person looks like there is new love here possibly, but there's also a transforming of ego, Okay? So I get like this person A is going through some form of awakening here. Okay. And then with person B, this is someone who's very connected to nature. I get this, I get more cup energy right here. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but it doesn't have to be. And it could be Sun, Moon, Rising. And then here I get more Earth energy. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, but it doesn't have to be those signs. I also get. There's more, someone here is more like a lone wolf here, but they're looking at the water. They're looking at this fish. Could be a Pisces. They're looking back. Maybe they're wanting to return to offer something because a fish is like offering. This is also for me about interconnectedness, but very grounded energy or earth energy here. But it's at nighttime. This is a lot about love. And this is about grounding. Now, what's between the two <coughs> looks like... Very fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, but very beautiful here. But this fire energy is looking at this water energy. So this could be could be anger or pride that got between the two, or irritation, or it could be another person that came in between the two of you. But I do see almost looks like waves here. It's like this person didn't see the waves of how deep this connection actually went. Maybe they didn't understand y'all's friendship. All right, let's look. So this is seed, okay? Having the intention to grow like a seed and bloom is at the heart of creativity. So this person here is either planted the seed with this person here or has the seed that was planted within them is starting to grow. This person is starting to have the awakening here to grow and change. Person B... It's free associate. It says, allow the first thing that comes into your mind without self-censorship to bestow a, a vision upon you. So this person on this side is now starting to see that do, person B is going to do what person B is going to do, right? But I feel like both of them here, person A and B, so friend A and friend B, whichever one you are on, we're both the catalyst for each other's freedom, catalyst for each other's growth and transformation here. Okay, so I don't know how much you heard or saw of that, so I'm going to recap it real fast because my it started buffering my internet. So this person here, okay, is more about love and transformation here. This person's about groundedness and um, centeredness, but there's a looking back here about the offer possibly there might be an apology between the two of you and then there there's a, someone here if it was a person then someone didn't realize the connection that the, these two best friends had okay 
and the waves of emotions are now coming. But also, um, if it was a, if it wasn't a person, then both are defining both both people were trying to define the other person based on their own perception versus allowing authenticity to come through unapologetically, but also with an open heart of understanding without judgment and criticism. So this person, A, so friend A, seed, and it says having the intention to grow like a seed and bloom is at the heart of creativity. So this is about seeds of transformation that were planted within this person, person, uh, friend A, and the seeds that were planted in this person by person A and vice versa. Free associate here it says allow the first thing that comes to your mind without self-censorship to bestow a vision upon you. So this person here is learning to not censor themselves. Okay, and this person sowed that seed of creativity and individuality and freedom within this person to be authentically themselves, unapologetically, and vice versa. See, these two friends, person, friend A, friend B, they're, they're like soulmates, okay? And I'm not talking about twin flame stuff, okay? Everybody's each other's soulmates. We're all meant to teach and learn from each other, right? Sometimes we do both. Sometimes we teach more. Sometimes we learn more, but we always do both. So these two are very deeply, look at all that water, deeply connected. These two right here, friend A and friend B, are very interconnected with one another. They are like soulmates, okay, but and friendship, okay, I don't necessarily, this is not romantic reading, this is a friendship reading, okay. We have originality here, it says free, feel lighthearted and free while trusting that your unique way of doing things is the right way. <clears throat> so, I feel like this person here was trying to tell this person how to do something. And this person here was trying to tell this person how to do something. Right? Both, I feel, friend A and friend B were both stubborn. So, it's coming in to understand by the both of them that both of them have their unique way of doing things. And that's okay. Doesn't mean it's wrong. At all. It's about mutual respect and allowing the other person to be authentically, unapologetically themselves. Okay? So, there's that. So, let's see. Show me person A. Friendship A. Show me friend A. The dreamer. A new start. Trust yourself. Push your fears aside and take a leap of faith. So, this person A... This friendship, A, know that it's time for them to take a leap of faith here. This is the full card here. So, Aries energy, but it doesn't have to be an Aries. But this talks about dream the dreams, right? Dream all the dreams. Do all the things, right? Someone, someone planted the seed of the dreamer, okay? Someone planted the seed with inside the dreamer to blossom. And I feel like it was person B. Or person or friend B knew and could see that this seed was there. And just cultivated it, cultivated it, right? But this is the dream right here. Okay, let's see. This is B, the magician. It says magic is alive. A magic is alive in your life. What you need to be to be a successful manifest, if you believe it, you can do it. This person here. Made this made friend B feel that you can manifest anything that you want. You have all the tools necessary. This person, friend B, did the same thing for this one. So this one, the dreamer and the magician are very, very powerful, very wise, very deeply spiritually connected friends. Okay, the dreamer. And the magician are very tightly connected because this could be Virgo, Gemini, Scorpio. Because the dreamer and the, ma the magician helps the dreamer manifest their dreams into reality by realizing that they always had the tools within them to cultivate that dream. And the dreamer gives the magician a new dream to manifest. Deeply connected. What's in between them? What was in between them? So it says, feel lighthearted and free while trusting that your new, your new, new, while trusting that your unique way of doing things is the right way. 
So it's like one person was trying to tell the other person that's not the right way to do something. And that person was trying to tell this person that's not the right way of doing something. When really both ways were right. We have the sun here, which is the happiest card in the deck. So things coming to light about a person's unique way of doing things. And that's okay. It says a time of great joy and success and brilliant epiphanies that lead to magical mo opportunities and mo mo moments. Plan plans that work out perfectly. Gratitude to the divine. So between them is a lot of deep admiration and joy and gratitude between the two there's also a lot of truth and clarity between the two we have the sun and we have the queen of swords which is all about truth and clarity full illumination awakening it's we have two things of time here two things of time so this talks about waking up each other these two people these two friends woke each other up woke each other up one person says manifest your freedom you have all the tools you need or this person, the dreamer, said, I have a dream and you have all the tools. I dream that you can manifest anything that you want. The magician said, you have a dream. Take that leap to follow that dream. Right? And this says, brilliant, experienced, humorous, judgmental, releasing situations are people that no longer serve you. Seeing the humor in difficult situations, focusing on career, divorce, or unmarried individuals. So, what came between the two was judgment of one another. When in reality, both are right. Both are right in their own way. And they're both are right in their unique way. Okay? Both are brilliant. Both are funny. But what got in the way was judgment. When what was typically a very joyous and happy collaborative. Because the, the fool comes before the magician. Right? And the magician needs the dream to manifest. Right? And the dreamer needs the magician to help them realize they have the tools to do so to take a leap of faith. Right? So that we have the dreamer and the magician. So somebody here sowed, a dr sowed the seed of a dream in someone. And then someone sowed show somebody you are a free associate you can manifest anything that you heart your heart desires so what's between them is illumination and truth and clarity about the the greatness between the two of them say so show me show me friend a show me friend a please the hermit time spent in peaceful meditation and meaningful solitude shine your light as an example to others seek out or become a spiritual mentor self-discovery okay so per friend a here after whatever discord or um estrangement has happened has put this person into a time of deep deep reflection deep reflection okay and this person had a dream to become a spiritual teacher and that is what they're doing to have to have spiritual knowledge this is all about self-discovery too. the dreamer and the self-discovery so someone had a dream of really discovering who they are what they bring what they can do someone is finding great solitude but also they're planting a seed that it's okay to meet people okay show me show me for an a show me for an a please nine of wands here okay fire energy aries leo sagittarius and it says, protect what you have created. Be prepared. Never give up. Ask your angels for help. Environmental activism and animal rights. This person, remember we had all those animals there. So this person might be an activist here. They might fight for animal rights. And this came out for in between the two of them. So this is someone who's like your family. This is someone who's like family to you. Okay? Period. Just, just period. That's, and that is the truth. Okay, so person, friend B here. Is using the wand energy to protect what they have manifested, to protect what they are creating or what they have created, what they've manifested, what they're bringing into being here. They do need a little bit of help to, to undertake some projects, but they realize all they have to do is dig a little bit deeper to go within to see that they already have the tools necessary in order for them to create anything and any, literally anything that they want. This purse. This person gave this person the strength to do so. And this person gave this person the dream 
or to remember the dream. Remember your dreams, right? Okay. This one may be very introverted, okay? And this person may be very extroverted. Or like an uh, extrovert that's also introverted, like a, an introverted that can be also extroverted. But this person who's very, very introverted person very can be quite shy. But this this one gave this one the power and the strength to to greet the world with an open heart and an open mind. There's deep transformation. Very, very powerful cards here. Okay. This one here might be a little bit more guarded. A little bit of a wounded warrior sense, but they are protecting what they have created. This one is trying to manifest a better world. Okay. Now, what's between them two? And we have the ten of we have the ten of cups here. A happy marriage, which is all about family here. Doesn't and again, this is not romantic reading. This is all about friendship only, and friendships that are actually family ships, like they're family. A happy marriage, happily ever after, emotional contentment, a loving relationship with your children, raising children wisely and successfully, people you can trust. So the two of them have deep trust between the two of them, but they also judge each other a little harshly or a little too judgmentally you know but there's great there's family there's great big love between the two of them show me let's see let's see show me friend a please show me friend a okay so we have uh, the emperor here aries but it's emperor in reverse aries okay then we also have, what is that? Six of Wands reversed. So somebody here might have felt like somebody wasn't good for them. There might have been some ego issues on this person's side here. Again, it doesn't have to be these signs, but they're realizing that having a bigger ego did not serve them. It was an empty victory. They let their ego and their pride get in the way of this friendship. All right, show me friend B. Now, again, you can, you know, you could be at this side. Obviously, it can be reversed, right? Show me friend B. Okay. We have the Queen of Pentacles here in reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Anything else for friend B? And we have the Six of Cups in the upright. Scorpio energy. Someone here needed to protect. Friend B needed to protect. They were jealous. So this friend B was jealous. Possibly a little bit of little jealousy here about someone's friendship elsewhere. Maybe there was a friend that got in between the two, maybe a little bit. And maybe someone had their feelings hurt a little bit. Someone is also protecting their stability here from the past. It's like needing to protect the connection. Someone didn't protect the friendship. And it was it, it feels like it might have been infiltrated in some way. And it and may not have been on an inten intentional. Right, but this is a very strong friendship. This is a very strong like family dynamic as well. Meaning that you don't have to be blood related and this person is still your family. Right? Someone here might have had a bit of a sharp, sharp tongue. Okay. And this one over here might have been a little bit more happy go lucky. <clears throat> okay, what's in between the two? Okay. We have the full card. So taking, again, we have the full card twice. Taking a leap of faith. Trusting. Also, we had bad communication too. What came between the two of them was immature communication. And not respecting the other person's point of view. And not giving this person a, a, a you know, a room to, to speak. It's like taking someone's voice away. Now, regardless if someone else had a choice to make, or regardless if someone had the right to say anything about someone else's choice, somebody here, there was a lot of care, a lot of love. There's a lot of love and a lot of care here that someone was just really worried. And someone didn't see that someone wasn't, um, was worried. Also, there could have been someone that came in between the two that told one of these people to stop talking to the other one. And it could have been out of ego. But it looks like somebody here 
got got in between and told one person to stop talking to the other person. And they did. It's like it feels like almost like a third person, a third friend, or could have been even a partner, romantic interest, or something that that told their partner to not speak to this friend again. Yes, yeah, so there was there was immature communication that got in between the two of them, or it was a person. Could also be an immature communication, you know, tactic. Not even say tactics, but styles that. Got in the way, or somebody here might have, or if it wasn't that, then somebody here told one of them to ghost the other friend. Okay, let's see. What else for person, friend A, please? Working hard. So this person here is working hard to overcome any ego issues and to move forward. There might be moving towards friend B. Show me friend B, please. Someone is protecting their own stability here with a soulmate. The Six of Cups talks about soulmates here. We have the King of Swords here. Somebody here is protecting something that they've either created or started here with logic. See, we have a true pair. Now, we have the Queen of Swords and we have the King of Swords here, okay? So we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Gem, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But, again, it doesn't, these two people, whether they're male or female, opposite sex, same sex, this is not a romantic reading, but these two people are very complimentary to each other as friends. And something got in between. There could have been an Aries that told somebody here to not speak to the other one anymore. And this person was left with, with a bruised ego, no choice but to move forward and work. Okay, what else for person B, please? Someone is protecting something, though. Person B is protecting something from the past. Or someone here is really, um, yeah, two of wands. Or someone is making a decision here right now, and they have to protect this decision. So there's something that this person B was needing to manifest and or do. They're manifesting protection of a choice that they are going to be making. They're no longer at a crossroads, though. Okay, and this person here is working hard to move forward or maybe even to move towards this person. We got Cancer, Capricorn energy. We also got Sagittarius, Aries, and Taurus, Leo energy. What else for this person? Five of Swords. This person, there was an argument or this person felt like they were messed with in the head. Someone feels like they got manipulated. Person A feels like they got manipulated. What else? And it caused them great mental torment here. This person cried greatly over friend B. Mourned great. Someone, someone was working hard to fight for something. To fight for the connection. And they ended up having to move away from it. And it caused them great pain. Show me person B. Friend B, please. We have the queen of, or excuse me, the empress here. Taurus Libra energy. We got Aquarius, Gemini. So this person here is working on their stability here to manifest their own stability. Very logical. This person is in a very logical state right now. Okay. They've made a decision here about something, right? They were once blocked. They had to make a choice and that choice was made. And unfortunately, this person might have been not part of that choice. But I feel the reason why they stopped communicating with person person B stop communicating with person A. Someone okay. This Empress felt blocked. You might have wherever you are, this person here got blocked by the other one, which it caused this other one great pain because they had they already had wounded pride and ego. But what they didn't know was that there was somebody here in between telling this person to to block out or not communicate with this person. And they listened. Or this person felt blocked by this one. Well, this person was hurting really bad. And they had to move through that. They had to move through that. And it took them quite some time. Why is the... Show me the full card, please. Why is this here? Yeah. Someone had new love that got in between this friendship. Which is, you know, gotta do what you gotta do, right? 
but it was like a crush or infatuation here. And yeah, someone did not learn from their past. But the cycle it has not been completed yet. So someone here might, person A might be blocking or had blocked this person. But this cycle is not over yet. So if you're estranged from a friend right now, that cycle isn't over. But there is some form of toxicity here with the devil. Or there's a Capricorn involved some way, somehow. Sun, moon, rising. But because the cycle isn't complete, this person might be coming in to offer an apology. Or vice versa, this person might be coming in to offer an apology. Or to offer a new beginning here. There's going to be an offer of new beginning here. The cycle isn't over. They want to come back in and speak. Either you do or they do. Or maybe even, yeah, both of you do. There's judgment here. Someone is someone is called, ha, is called judgment or will be calling judgment on a Capricorn possibly. Or some type of codependent or toxic situation. Judgment. We got Sagittarius Scorpio here with Capricorn. Okay, let's see. Show me person A. Show me friend A. We have the Hermit Reverse, but we had in the upright. And then we have the King of Wands here. So we got Virgo. We also got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. So somebody here is going through some form of awakening here. They're struggling through it, but they're getting, they're going to fight through it. They're going to, they're going to do it. Give me one more for person A. Just one, please. Okay, yeah, this person doesn't want any drama. Five of Wands reverse. They don't want any drama. They don't want to fight. They don't want any conflict. They just want there to be peace between the two. All right, show me her friend B, please. I'm the magician again. I'm telling you, this person's a powerful manifester. Virgo, uh, Gemini, Scorpio. Anything else? Please, person B. Show me, give me one more card. Okay, Ace of Cups reverse. This person is trying to manifest self-love, self-care. But someone is also blocking out new love from an outside source here. But there's a need to manifest self-care on the side. Give me one more. Just one card, please, for person friend B. The strength. Someone is trying to manifest the strength for self-care. Or this person B is trying to manifest the strength to let this person go. Or somebody here is trying to send somebody else the strength to move forward okay what else came between the two of them so there was judgment there was toxic judgment there was disrespectful judgments that came between the two one more what came between the two of these friends holding on to holding on to judgment holding on to a grudge someone here what's coming between the two of you and this could be pretty you're, you're, this could be person A doing it. This could be person B doing it. This could be both. Somebody here is holding on to a grudge or disrespectful judgment. Someone is holding on to some form of toxicity as well between the two. We got Capricorn, Aries energy, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Capricorn. Or someone thinks the other person is holding on to a grudge when they're not. This person over here does not want any drama. Nope. Okay, let's see. Let me see. Anything else, please? Show me show me person A, please. Dedicated effort. This person works really, really hard. This person is very creative. This person really wants to communicate. Person B, please. They're putting in the effort, and this person wants to open up. So as long as this person is putting in dedicated effort, this person will open up. Or this person wants this person to open up, and this person... <laughs> Person A wants person B to had give dedicated effort. It can I feels like these things overlap and interchange with one another. Okay, what's in between them, please? What else is in between them? Also, if they were careless in their communication with one another with the full card and the page of wands reverse. Very careless in the way that they communicated with one another. They didn't take the other person's feelings into consideration. Their thoughts and feelings and how things could be perceived or not perceived. 
They were careless with one another in their friendship. Deep friendship, though. Very deep friendship. Okay. All right. We got a lot. So, believe and succeed. The heart chakra. So, yes, there's a heart awakening between the two of them. Blossoming. Success. Um, someone has been very detached from their feelings and challenging times. So, we got here... Someone has belief that things can blossom and grow and um, transform. But what's going on right now, someone right now is detached from their heart center and they're going through some type of challenging times right now. All right, show me person A. Friend A, please. So maybe, maybe person A or person, whomever is going through this, maybe the other person needs to give them some time and, and space, possibly. See, now we have the magician here manifest. Okay, this person is manifesting dedicated effort here. They're putting in the effort to manifest their friend back or to manifest some form of reconciliation. Show me open up, please, for person B. Spread your wings. Someone's opening up. I'm going to spread their wings to open up their heart here. Okay, but both have to come with acceptance. Acknowledgement, respect, and an open heart. But someone believes. Someone still believes. But there are difficult. It's like these two people helped each other grow and blossom and find peace and find get come back home to themselves in some fashion. Show me person A, friend A. Show me friend A, please. Control. Somebody here, person A, or somebody thought that person A was trying to manifest control. They weren't. Or someone here is trying to control their manifestation abilities here. We got 8-8 eight, eight here. But there is healing here. Okay. Show me person B. Awaiting results and clarity of belief. So somebody here is spreading their wings, waiting for some type of results here. Or they're waiting for what they have planted to grow. The seed that they have grown. Or the seed that this person has grown. In clarity of belief. So somebody here is getting clarity about what it is they believe. They're opening up their heart. They're making the transformation here. They're opening, spreading their wings and it's about to take flight here. Someone here is trying to manifest self-control through dedicated effort. They're trying to control their speech because we got the wings here. It talks about communication for me. Someone is learning self-control. Person A. Shine. This person is really opening up their heart. Someone's manifesting heart openings big time. Person A. Someone is opening up healing. Someone is manifest. Someone's manifestation is starting to shine. Someone is mastering their heart and healing. Person A is and breaking their chains of, of feeling like they have to control their love or their heart. This person B is moving on, but they feel alone. They don't have to be alone. Show me person B. Opportunity beckons them though. But it feels almost like they're turning their back to it. This person is is has open arms as well. And an open heart. They're mastering their heart and their emotions. So operate from self control, which means that they have mastered they're mastering themselves. Between them, we have sadness and isolation and take the lead. So they both feel 3-3. Three, three. They both feel the same way. They both feel the same way. Sadness and isolation. They both are trying to take the lead in their own lives through challenging times. They both feel the same way, but they both want the same things. Okay, and what else between them? Healing begins. So there's healing. There's a heart opening, I'm telling you. And a crown shocker. So both of them are getting downloads here about and about and opening up their heart and realizing seek the truth and choose your battles. That's what they're learning. Seven seven. Look. It's, oh my God. Look. From the bottom of I split the deck and look. We got seven seven seven. It's a divinely guided friendship. These two are actual soulmates. Like actual friendship soulmates. Wow. Someone also, there, there's, I'm looking at the bottom, of the, I split the deck here. We got, seek the truth and confront your shadow. So both of them are confronting themselves. 
they both know healing begins when they they both intuitively know that there can be healing between the two of them if they pick and choose their battles wisely right and giving an equal give and take a giving and receiving and respect for one another both are confronting shadow both are getting downloads both are healing what else is between them both are both are seeking the truth and confronting themselves uh, within their shadow to heal helpless and hopeless they both feel helpless and hopeless about look you even have two sixes here i can't make this shit up like this is super super spiritual friendship both have both look both paths lead back to each, to one another third eye chakra yeah but another six balance this is all about balance it's my only guide is to balance out this friendship because they both lead back this this friendship leads back to one another what else rest and reconsider so yes they need to reconsider about walking away from this friendship look they both intuitively want to come back together come to coming together in solar plexus both intuitively want to come back together but there needs to be a willing to see and to balance things out. Someone is refusing to see a way to come back. Two, two here. Two there. This, there's a big decision about coming back together here and balancing things out. We also have success and growth. Another eight and another seven. So four sevens, daydreams and decisions. Someone needs to balance out between daydreams and decisions between the two of them are both success and growth. Someone's refusing to see that the other person has grown. Win or lose, it can be rebuilt. The truth has been spoken. It can be rebuilt. If, oh, look, if you simply love and love one another. As, you know, obviously this is friends, right? Nurture someone else's leadership. Allow them to take the lead, especially in their own life, right? I mean, you don't have to allow them to do anything. That's their life, but respecting it. There's a lot of joy and stability here in this relationship here. Trust. A lot of trust, the joy, and stability. Dreams come true as long as you're moving and they're moving back together. This friendship may may be reconciled. It may actually be reconciled. All right, let me get some guidance here. If both people want it and in their care, there can be healthy boundaries and set up to realizing what went wrong and how they can be better towards one another. What guidance do you have for this friendship? Or let's see, what guidance do you have for per, friend A? What guidance do you have for friend A, please? Okay, we have two. And it says, friendship is love without his wings. Oh, wow. And this says, spread your wings. Lord Byron, friendship is love without, its, without his wings. Okay, and then it says, o Yoko Ono says, love is not a dream. You can remember it if you want to. That's beautiful. All right. Guidance for person B. Friend B. Hugh Hefner. Okay. <laughs> Surround yourself with young partners to stay fit. Okay. So somebody here might be a little younger. Or somebody here likes, you know, to be around younger people. Anything else for person B? Okay, and when he says, once you share your personal life, it's not personal. Yep, George Clooney. Okay, what's between the two of them? So someone here needs to open up here. And one person is willing to accept. And one person is willing to apologize. Or I feel like both people are willing to apologize. And I feel like both may be willing to forgive. This person had to let go of some ego here. This person has to um, be willing to see the other person um, as changed or is changing, right? And vice versa. I feel like both of them had some ego problems. And both of them were not necessarily respectful of the other, of their time or efforts. But this can be, this, this friendship can be saved if you really want it. So if you got somebody you're estranged with and you've been, they've been heavily on your mind, know this, they've been thinking about you too. They've been thinking about you too. What's between them? What guidance do you have between for the friendship? Uh, Lena Dunham. I thought I'm not saying that right. Says, don't be afraid of standing on the shoulders of your parents. 
So these guys, this, I get this this pair of friends are kind of like rebels here. It's okay to play hide and seek for you, by yourself. So maybe it was time for them to you know go their separate ways, but there was but I feel like it's gonna come back around because this is like a growth thing. Wait, let me see. Is this infinity? Okay, yeah. In the infinity symbols, family and friends. Okay. So it says, marriage isn't the only way to have a partner for life. This is, I'm telling you, this is a soulmate. This is a soulmate friendship. Again, marriage isn't the only way to have a partner for life. It's making me cry. Okay, it says, you can find friends in the darkest places. Billie Holiday. Okay, Melina Trump, but we'll take it. Keep your friends close and your family closer. This, I'm telling you, this is a family. This is a family friendship. Like, this is two people who are friends that are actually family. They, they consider the other person family. We also have Oscar Wilde, and it says, true friends stab you in the front. Okay. And then it says, pure masculinity or femininity is not to be found. Sigmund Freud. So it's accepting each other. And if you got and if you got something to say, say it to the person, not behind their back, right? There could have been some of the, some gossiping behind each other's back a little bit. What else, please, for the for the friendship? Yeah. To love, you must ignore the difference between pleasure and pain. I can't say that name. It's a hard name for me to say. What else for a friendship? Yes, it was painful. This splitting of ways. But I feel like it's coming back around. I really feel like it's coming back around. And I feel like both have grown. I feel like both have really have grown. Oh, Lord. Um, Marquise de Seine. I'm not saying that right. Certain souls may seem harsh to others. Listen to this. Certain souls may seem harsh to others, but it is just a way of caring and feeling more deeply. Somebody here might have been a little harsh in their communication with somebody else. Then you have Matahara, and it says, your true friends see through your disguises. So somebody here might have made a harsh assessment and said something harshly, because they saw through something, and it hurt the other person. What else we got? Plato. And, okay, I'm, I'm going to struggle with that name, too. So it says, the madness of love is the greatest of heaven's blessings. There's great, I'm telling you, there's great love between these two friends. And I'm not talking about romantic. I'm talking about actual, like, like there's a soul tie here that's very, very strong and very deep. Right? This is, this is a family. This is, this is friend, a friend, a friendship that's actually more like a family dynamic, like a family connection like a you know what I mean like you chose this person to be your family you weren't you're not blood related but you chose this person so it's more profound but this goes back before time like I got chills and it says Marlene Del Rich I think I'm not sure if I'm saying that right it's the friends you call after our hours that matter yep this person could call them anytime you guys could call each other any like literally any time This is deep. This is a deep, deep, deep friendship that, that can definitely be reconciled. I do feel like coming back. Let's see. Let me get some guidance, please. Let me get a wild goddess uh, card for person A, friend A. Wow. Well, okay. It says the angel. The angel. And it says, you may soon encounter a person or events that may benefit you in ways that seem to have angelic origins. You may be called to be an angel. This person was someone's angel. So the other one, I feel like both though. But I think there's only one angel card. So I'm applied to both. Alright, what about for person... What about person... Uh, friend B? The peacemaker. The peacemaker. Self-mastery here, number 22. It is time to make peace. You will get further on your path through kind acts and words that you will then you will be by forcing things or vengeance. So this person needs to seek more peace. All right, what about the friendship, please? What about the friendship, please? What's, what guides for the friendship, okay? 
the shadow the shadow it says making a friend and ally of your shadow side is necessary for becoming your authentic self a key element of true success anything else please for the friendship <coughs> Anything, any other guidance, please? So they're both of them are doing shadow work right now. It feels like, or have done a lot of shadow work. The guardian, number nine, another angel looks like another guardian angel. Take time to become aware of and prepare for all contingencies by making your home base secure so you feel safe and protected. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> the two of them made each other feel very safe. This is very divinely guided friendship. For sure. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. This is what I got. I hope that it helps. Y'all take care of yourself. Until next time.